Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so awkward. I don't usually film videos. The last video I filmed uh, with me in it, well, I mean me really talking in it, was my emo makeup tutorial. And that got 800 views, but like, for the obvious reason of cringe factor, if anybody has ever watched it, guessing most of you <laughs> have if you are stumbling on my channel. Okay, so I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I don't really know where I'm going with it yet. I'm just going to do my normal base. And then decide what eyeshadow I want to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to start off with my primer. It's like a hydrating primer. I usually do a pore filling one too, but like I'm too lazy to do that right now. And it's like winter, so it's like really dry season. Um, it's like gel, completely liquid. Well, not liquid, see-through. Like it's, it's gel. It's kind of like hair gel, I would say. I do, like, Okay, so that video is like such a bad representation of me. I'm like so good at makeup and like, well, I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm educated at makeup. I do it a lot and I watch a lot of videos and um, I'm going to beauty school next year. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be going <laughs> to beauty school, and it's going to suck because I feel like I'm not going to fit in there with all the other girls, like, because, okay, so the beauty school that I want to go to is Continental Beauty, and they're open to the public, which means like you can go in there and get your hair done and your makeup done and your nails done and you get to like have real life experiences before you go out and work and um a lot of those girls that are there are intimidating in my opinion like a lot of them look like really pretty and snooty kind of but I'm not going to judge them by their looks, obviously. I don't know. It just makes me nervous because I feel like... Oh, I didn't even show you what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Cover Girl. True Blend. Foundation. I don't really like it that much. But, like, I'm not going to waste money and go out and buy another... I don't know, my friend recommended it to me, but I like more full coverage, and this is light coverage, in my opinion. Maybe medium to light coverage, but like, I use so much of it because like, I like cake face, honestly. Because I have very, um, red skin and I try to hide that as much as possible um a foundation I really like I'm more into um Foundation Sticks. It's the one by. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to think. It's the one by. 
I think L'Oreal, yeah, L'Oreal. I'll have to look it up. I'll put a picture up if I can find it. I also like the Elf Foundation. Um, the hydrating one. I have that one in my bag, but I'm not using it right now. Because I bought this new one. And I want to use this one up before I open another one. I do very lightly on my head though. I... Also, anybody tell me, does anybody else have a problem where the foundation sets weird on the nose? I don't know why. I can't figure it out if I have oily skin or dry skin. To me, I think I have dry skin on my nose at least. But I don't know. I, I need to go to like a doctor and actually figure it out because like I also have acne problems and um like red spots on my face. Like uh, my cheeks are very red. I'm sorry. I feel like this is the least entertaining video I've ever done. I feel like everybody's gonna be like, the emo makeup tutorial was so much funnier. I'm like, yeah, because I suck at makeup back then. <laughs> it takes you time to, like, learn your preferences. Um, yeah, so this is a CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. It, like, matches the foundation. I don't know. I really like the one, um, the Camo Concealer by e.l.f. That's, like, my favorite concealer. Um, I also really like the one from Revolution. That's another really good one. This one's good because I get the latest shade in this one and it really brightens. I also like, um, sorry, let me think for a second. The, the concealer from I feel like an idiot right now. Colourpop. Colourpop concealer. Oh, also another good one is from BH Cosmetics. I also love that foundation. BH Cosmetics is a very good brand in my opinion. A lot of people, I don't know, don't talk about them in my opinion. Um, I want... Okay, so, like, I am more high-end stuff, but, like, I only get, like, high-end stuff once in a while, so, like, Christmas time. I'm going to be buying, I'm getting Tati's palette, which I should probably do a review on, because, honestly, Tati's my queen. Um, <laughs> I haven't been watching her videos recently, and I feel like a horrible person for it but like I don't even know like she came out with a new palette like I just happened to like see something and post something about it and I'm just like yeah okay I'm gonna buy it immediately so it's like coming in very soon and I'm excited for it Obviously, I'm not getting it until Christmas, but, um, yeah, so, that's something to look forward to. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of things I'm going to save her for Christmas. I'm getting a Nintendo Switch, which I'm thinking about live streaming on. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for, um, Christmas. I'm trying to figure out exactly what contour I want to do. Yeah, 
people are probably gonna judge me. They're gonna be like, you do cringe for next time. I'm like, I do it in whatever order I want to, okay? People, you do it in whatever order you want to. I do my shit in my order. I don't know how other people do it. I just go with what feels right to me. Yeah, I'll go with this, sure. It's not my favorite bronzer. It's my wet and mild. I the whole name's wiped off. Um, it's not my favorite because it's a little bit red. I like more cool tone colors. I was gonna use my favorite bronzer, but like I want to do something different for the video. It's not like I dislike it. It just I have my preferences. Okay, there my brush. Oh, I got this in an Ipsy bag, and I really, really like it. Um, yeah, I have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm thinking about doing reviews on those on this channel. My red skin's still showing a little bit. I don't know. This is dark. I feel like everybody's gonna judge me again. Okay, so I know everybody's gonna comment about the fact that I'm doing this. That's well, okay. I just see a red spot there, and it's bothering me. Badly. So, I'm just going to try to cover it up. Also, I don't set my foundation anymore. I used to, like, I think that was the end all be all. Just to set your foundation, but I don't know. I just don't do it anymore. And it's like, not because I don't know to do it. It's just like, I don't do it because I don't want to do it. I feel like it makes me look drier if I set myself. My favorite setting powder, though, by far is Cody Earspun. I did have this one by Ciate London, but I don't know where it went. Also, I feel like I know why I don't use this bronzer. Um, yeah, this is a BH Cosmetic brush. I love BH Cosmetic brush. This is a fair brush. Uh, they're lighter. That's why I kind of like it. Like, I know people are like, oh, I like heavy brushes. I like how light this one is because I feel like I can, like. I don't know. I feel like people don't care to see me do this. I don't like a lot of my videos are top tones, but it's because I don't really know what. I don't like talking in front of the camera. I do live stream. And that's fun for me because, okay, so, I know it's going to sound weird. I don't like talking in front of the camera. When I live stream, I feel like I'm just talking to friends. Because, like, all the people that are on my live stream, it's on my sister channel. Um... Back at M61694. Uh, I'll leave her channel in the description. I live stream on there doing um, Jackbox Party Packs, which is fun. 
and there's so many like different people you get to play with on there but a lot of people come back like it's shocking like how many people are like excited for the stream and like so we were doing it every day but we're doing it less now because um it gets a little repetitive like I feel so there's another Jackbox YouTuber that I watch um his name is Pogo Joe I don't really watch him anymore, but, like, he used to do it all the time, and he's like, yeah, it gets bored. And, like, I finally understand what you meant. Like, I want to do more live streams of Jackbox on this channel, but, like, I don't know if you guys enjoy that stuff, because, like, my channel's so different. <laughs> like, it's all over the place, in my opinion. I'm trying to decide what blush I'm going to use. Because, again, I don't want to use a blush I u normally use. I'm going to use something different. I have a Gigi Gorgeous blush that I use all the time now. And I got it in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. Which is bomb. And I kind of want to use that. But then, again, I always use that. So, I'm going to use something different. Um... Okay, I used to use that one a lot. Okay, this isn't one I use as much anymore. I really do like this blush though. I don't know why I don't use it as much anymore. Also, the contour in it, this is great. Oh, yes, contour in my nose. <laughs> uh, I don't do that a lot. I always forget to. That's my biggest thing. I know people are gonna me and be like, this isn't a contour brush. To me it is. Let me let me get a mirror. I'm just doing it freehand with a camera right now. Well, iPhone camera. I am not the best at contouring my nose. I try. I, I feel like I do it really harshly. But I also like it like that. I don't know. It's weird. I also kind of want to use this blush too. Because I like this blush. So I think I'm going to do that blush. But I also kind of want to do a different blush. I don't know. Also, oh, that looks horrible. Mm. Well, it does look horrible. It just seems to be blended out more. Sorry, I like using this guy because it's so densely packed. I just. Also, what is your favorite pair of your makeup? Mine is freaking highlighter and eyeshadow. Like, I can't help myself when it comes to highlighter. Like, I don't know if I want to use this one because it's boring. This highlighter is boring. Maybe if I used a wet highlighter. You know. Like, okay, let me show you. It, like, barely shows up. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I might have, like, a light, maybe. I don't know, this isn't the best lighting to show it. Here, I'll try to show you my finger because you know it shows up. It's kind of like chalky looking and not like super glittery. I'm going to be covered in highlighter. That's what always happens. Um, so I don't use like a traditional blush brush I would say I use like a flat top brush I like regular round of blush brushes it's just I haven't got my new brushes in for Jeffrey 
And that's what I'm waiting for. I thought I put all my brushes to the top. Where is it? There it is. No, that's the wrong one. Um, Cause I was just organizing all my stuff. I always forget to do that. Also, sometimes I go like, okay, I used to like hate blush and not use it. Who else is that way? I like overdo blush now. <laughs> I'm like not myself. I do other people's makeup. Um, no one in my makeup's actually. I just said no one in my makeup. No one in my family is really into makeup. Is that me? Like, I've always been into it, like, as a kid. Like, my cousin, Melissa, is. But, like, I'm saying immediate family, like, my sister and my mom. None of them are really into makeup like I am. Like, the only person, like, I constantly do my makeup do makeup on and my mom it's kind of funny like she lets me do it on her whenever I want and then like I don't have a lot of girlfriends I know <laughs> it's weird I don't have that many friends that are girls but I'm like and I'm not a girly girl either it's kind of weird to me I feel like I'm such a different girl Because, like, I just, you know, I wear, I don't dress like a girly girl. And I'm not, like, saying that's weird. I'm just saying it's weird to me that myself being what society says is a girly girl. And not, like, having any girly girl treats other than I like makeup. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to do a wet highlighter. I usually don't do that. It is by Physician Formula, a butter highlighter. So, it's like putty. See, you can see my fingerprint in it. I always apply this in different ways I feel like yeah see I don't like that I do it with my finger usually but I can't find my mirror so I'm just going to grab my Gigi Gorgeous mirror see it's so cute I love Gigi Gorgeous I don't know which shade it is but one of these shades are called Pride and I love it So this is a pretty subtle highlight. I usually do a lot more intense highlights. I might go in and do my over highlight over top of this. I just like to be blinding. That's all I want in life, is to blind like a diamond. I feel like this is more of a greasy glow? I don't know. It's not like it's ugly. I'm not saying that. It's just not me. Like, I know some people love 
an actual look. I know. I'm really about doing this shade. It is an eyeshadow, yes, but it's a pretty dang shimmery white gold eyeshadow, and that's I like very. Why did I splash it there? Very intense shimmery highlights. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that was disgusting. I feel like a child <laughs> when I play makeup. Okay, I'm just trying to find some brush. No, that does not work. That has a dome shape. I like dome shape brushes for highlight. I don't clean my brushes as much as I should. I do like every once in a while because like I get scared that I'm gonna get like some disease. But I'm like the only one using my brushes. That's up like my mom, but like I don't use like a lot of my brushes on her. I like use the brushes I don't normally use on people. See, like, I like, well, that's, I like where you can tell that there's highlighter on your face. You know, people are like, oh, when you get some love, you'll get a glimpse of it. No, I want to be beaming when you see it from any time. And then I like those people who are like, oh, you go to him with a highlighter. And it, you can s Okay, am I even in? I don't care if I shoot a highlighter on my face. Well, that's just me. Now, I'm going to use a palette I usually don't use. I'm thinking about doing, like, a winter Wonderland look. I don't know why. I feel like I need to do, like, a pretty icy blue kind of look. I don't know. I don't usually do that. Oh, eyebrows. I almost forgot eyebrows. I put these on. Okay, I stain my eyebrows with all my long lasting brow color. It's kind of just like this paint stick that has like, it's kind of like mascara because it like So I have like very light brow hairs, like a visible, like as you can see. So I kind of, use this because it gives me more of a structure to work with. I do pluck my eyebrows regularly. I'm one of those girls. I don't like having hair on my face. Where it shouldn't be. Like, I literally like, um, shave my face, <laughs> which is weird, I know, I know. And like, I obviously don't mean be weird.
but like, I don't know, I shave my face for my reasons. Also, you only have to do this two times to get fully the color I want. But I'm going to attempt to do a winter wonderland. I used to be obsessed with blue eyeshadow. Like, obsessed with blue eyeshadow. Like, it's insane how obsessed I was with it. I also used to do blue lipstick. That, those were the days of when I first got into makeup. I also do, used to do crazy wing liner. That looked horrible. I don't do wing line eyeliner anymore. And it's, it's not like I can't do wing eyeliner. I feel like I could if I tried. It's just I don't want to. <laughs> so I like Profusion palettes. They're cheaper, but they're really nice quality. I'm also not just going to use this. I'm also going to use... Oh... Never mind. I'm not going to use that. The Morphe Pell are too far away from me. I'm going to use Bermuda to start off. I don't... Oh, sorry. Let me lay down a base first. I don't want to go in there. Line. Also, sorry about that, my phone started dying, so I had to put a charger in it. Oh, there's the brush I'm using. It's also the same brush I used on my highlighter. I shouldn't have used this brush. I was too lazy to find the brush I use. It's a B Cosmetic Brush, number seven. This is like the Rose Gold Collection. I don't know, I thought they were pretty. All right, I'm going straight into blue. This blue shade right here. I'm trying to go for like light blue winter wonderland feel but I don't know how that's gonna go because I do not do blue makeup anymore I do a lot of um noon <laughs> makeup but I like to have fun Okay, I might have to grab that Morphe palette only because I need other shades than just this. Let me look at my Asset Wonderland palette. Also, this palette, old as hell. Still use it. Don't care. Mirror's broken. It's cute though. Um, yeah, there's a butterfly in it because it's the awesome looking one. I'm not letting this palette go to waste. Okay, this is just a sixty dollar palette. Those are like the first real expensive palettes I've gotten. Okay, there are some blues in here. I think I'm gonna use this one after I finish laying down this blue. I want to get. So like, so I want it to be like, hang on, okay coverage. I want to have like, yeah, that's about the color I want. It might be hard to see on camera. Like I want, I'm gonna do pictures afterwards. I like do a montage at the end of the video. He's like, I don't want. Like, I want you guys to be able to see that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's better. Um, that's like a pretty cool color to what I wanted. It's like really light and dusty. I also really like this blue color in my eyes. My eyebrows look ridiculous right now. I like going up high with colors when it's just like a crazy color. Wow. How much a difference that makes when I bring my student closer. I trust me, this is not her. I have like this bad habit. Oh yeah, there's some pieces I missed that I'm gonna have to fill back in. Or I can just do it with a pencil. I used to just like because, like I said, I don't have really any brow. Well, I have a brow, it just doesn't have any color. That looks actually not that bad right now. So, like, some spots. Like, I'll go back in with it and just paint you know, spots that I think. Where did it even go? Great, I think I lost it already. Uh. Okay, so like, see like in this part right here, it looks a little, so like you just dab it where he needs a little bit more help. Yes. No mama yet? No. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. your eyebrows. What do you mean? They're just really dark. I don't know, that's how I usually do them. Doro. Hi, Doro. What's wrong, 
Okay. I'm sorry about that everyone. I wasn't expecting my dad to come out here. Now I feel like I'm whispering. Uh, my mom will be home soon, so it's probably gonna get loud again. Sorry about that. I'm gonna to try to darken my corner. I hope you guys can see what I'm going for. I'm going for very light, like, um, a winter one. I'll, I'll have to post pictures of what I'm thinking of. Like, very Christmassy winter wonderland, ice queen, Narnia. <laughs> I'm going for a very light. Christmas inspired look. So like I decide I think I'm going to leave my lids bare. I don't usually do that, but I kinda like the way it looks right now. And just doing like so I might be doing a blue highlighter just because I want to. I feel like it will tie the look together. But this was a little different than what I wanted. It's kind of more like a sky blue. I'm hoping it works out the way I want it to. So I'm going to... It's going to be... Primarily in the corner because I want to try to keep it very, very and ball out. Of course, that's the only reason I kind of miss baking. See, I want to keep it very centralized. I and it's like effect. I feel like it's already starting to do it and I'm excited. I like the way it looks. Personally I feel like I want this again. I want to do like a Christmas look, like reds and greens. But I am so sorry about that, guys. The camera fell. It shut up on its own, which I guess is a good thing in some cases because I could cut that part out. And I'm going to the other side. I know a lot of people do one eye at a time. I have a tendency to do that when I'm just doing it on my own. But for video purposes, I like, oh, I'll do one eye on camera and then one eye off camera. I don't get that. Also, I peel my brows when I was gone. I'm obviously gonna go in with a brow pencil and like and add extra details. I'm liking the way it's looking. Now underneath I'm thinking about doing like this color because I feel like it's gonna look cool. It has like I don't know if you can see it, it has like micro colors in it. It's not like a shimmery shadow like this one's obviously like metallic. I'm sorry. 
cancer. But it has like glitters in it. But I don't know if like it's going to look that great. Or I might go with this because it's just like this light metallic y shape. I don't know yet. Alright, let me decide. Let me decide. I actually think I'm not going to do either of those. <laughs> I think I'm going to go into planetarium. It's like, okay. This purpley, tall blue color. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's kind of like multi -ish. You can kind of see like a shift in like silver and blue. Wow, it is not showing up great on camera. It looks way more blue in person. Me. And guys, there's a reflection. Okay. So I'm just using, I was going to use um, my smudge brush. I decided I wanted to find line. I'm so paranoid. Every time I hear a car, I think it's my mom. It's not like I don't want her to be home. I do want her home. It's like a thing where it's like awkwardness. I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so, it's not as, like, <sighs> I keep drawing on my eye, and I know that's going to trigger people. So now I'm going to add the blue highlight. Okay, I'm going to put blue highlight all over the face, I think. But I'm not sure. 
just throw oh, here on my arm. Oh. It's like this blue. You know what, I'm gonna wet my brush. See a tint of blue. You can't like really tell it's blue. That's one. You like it ties everything in there. Obviously, I do have that So I thought about doing blue lipstick. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm stupid enough to do that anymore. I'm gonna finish my eyebrows. Right now, I'm struggling to put a box back in a box. <laughs> There we go. I don't know why that was so hard to get in there. <laughs> I felt like it was on child's lock. Sorry about that. Again, everybody. Okay, I want to finish my eyebrows. So this is a Wonder Beauty. I, I don't know. I got in a subscription box. I like very small tips. I'm just gonna brush them away. I need to pluck my eyebrows again. Love me. Oh no, it's like I like these like light taupe brown shades. Oh, you're doing like little like ropes. I don't know. I think it makes the fur a little more fluffy. I, I don't know. I, I always do it. Mm. Thank you. 
I feel like my eyebrows look weird. But, you know. It's only for a video. It's not like I'm gonna go anywhere. It's 10 o'clock at night. put on mascara that is not mascara there we go I'm gonna do lash paradise okay so funny story I liked better than sex mascara and I only had it in sample size because it was like a Christmas thing where it came with like a tart blush um a better than sex mascara and, um, a tart lipstick. And, like, I don't know. Like, my favorite thing in it was the blush. And, um, because it's, like, a cool tone blush, I like more, like, mauve cool tone blushes than... I don't know why everybody likes peach blushes. I don't know. Um, not a fan of, like, bright, bright blushes either, like... I also like blushes with shimmers in them. I'm not about like all matte blushes. But like I was really into the Better Than Sex mascara. And I was like trying to find a cheaper version of it. Because like I don't have money to keep buying that. So then Lash Paradise. And then like it's still like. Okay so it's like 10 bucks for Lash Par Paradise. Which is so pretty expensive. Like for me. <laughs> So, like, I try to, like, buy the sets where it comes, like, with this and then, like, the eyeliner or this and the the one that helps your eyelashes grow. I don't know. But this is, like, my favorite mascara. Also, people look at me like I'm insane. Um, I take, like... A short metal object and separate my lashes <laughs> because I like very separated lashes. This is like not the best anymore because like it's a little bit old so like it's starting to come together. Like I feel like it still like makes my lashes look good. And I'm not going to, like, stop using a product until, like, it's empty. That's the way life rolls. Unless it's, like, a product I'm not, like, a fan of. Also, I feel like I run out of foundation so fast. Like, I don't even wear, like, makeup constantly. Like, okay, so I would if I cared enough to wake up really early in the morning and do it before school. I used to care. I don't anymore. It's, like, senior year. I just want to get it over with. It's like, I don't care what kids think about me anymore. I was like, I'm not going to see you in a year anyway. Until like reunions, and I don't really care at that point. Like I said, I'm not really friends with any girls, so like, I feel like these lashes look horrible over there. Oh, raw. Oh, that's hot. Hello. F me. Why did I do that? I'm gonna go off camera probably. And then separate my lashes with a sharp object and not scare anybody. 
Okay, I feel like I'm in so much quieter now because, like, I'm nervous. <laughs> because oh. family's around now. Oh. No, it's awkward. Oh, um, also, the package I best thing ever is the Snap Scara yeah. by Maybelline. Oh my god, I love this stuff. For bomb lashes only. Right. Also, this eye is watering profusely. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I feel like this was a more successful makeup video. But then again, there's still right. gonna be haters. They're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe you got mascara on the top of her eyelid. Okay, people make mistakes. It's not like we're all Tati Westbrook, James Charles. Yeah, we have the better reason. Yeah, I have the light. And Jeffree one. Star. Okay, like I'm just saying, like, be realistic here. I'm not gonna spend time to take off all my makeup and redo the whole video. Yeah. You know, that's life. It's a one take. No, I'm like, usually, um, I would start getting nervous if I made a mistake, but because no, I I'm not, not actually going anywhere and doing anything with my life today doesn't matter if this was like for quarter sponsor yeah I'm not be happy and there we go oh okay oh that was the worst thing I've done you know what people are gonna judge me I am not happy this on my face. And it looks better for me. Not be the best. Okay, so this mascara on the butt of lashes is really freaking good. I wish everyone could see it as well as I do. Also, my hair looks like shit right now, but I'm gonna like brush it out, take pictures, and try to get somewhat decent photos of the makeup. Okay, so now that I got that done, uh, I can't decide what I want to do for lips. <laughs> like, I want to do blue, but I don't really have blue lipstick anymore. So, like, you see they're, like, wing shotting it? Like, I thought about, okay, I think I'm just going to do, like, a nude with a pink gloss. Also... Just got this. I love lint plumping stuff, and it's a lint plumping gloss by Bare Minerals. Never owned anything from that brand, Bare Minerals, ever. Also, this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip is like my favorite thing ever. It is disgusting looking. So yes, it is very new. It is probably why is that skin tone or a little uh I'd say 
cooler. I know my skin tone's very red and this this is nowhere in here that I like. It's a little bit sheer. I haven't tried these two together. I've only had like because like I said it's new. So I think this is it for what I'm doing. I don't know. I think it's very, very winter winterland looking. I really like the blue highlight. I usually don't do fun highlighters. But I think it's cool. I also really, really like the eyeshadow. I kind of want to do it again. Um, better. <laughs> because, like I said, I got mascara on the top of my eye. And I'm annoyed by it. You know what? Give me a second. I just want to start taking a brush. Okay, this is not the brush I was going to use. But you know what? Let's just see if I can <laughs> blend that out. In any sort of way. You know what? This doesn't look how bad. And also I have a lot of glitter right here. <laughs> I keep wanting to look at myself and not at the camera, which I shouldn't be doing. But you know, that's what happens in life when you film a video. <laughs> but this is like limp pumping. So it's like mint in it, which I love. I like things that have limp plumping ingredients. I should do what's in my bag. But it'd be like what's in my 20 bags. Or make a video honestly. Like I have like so many bags. And then uh, along with like having Ipsy Glam ba bag. I get like bags every month. <laughs> so like. It's a lot of work to maintain some sort of function in the amount of makeup I have. I want to do like a favorites video. And this would definitely go in it. I love this. I like loose highlighter. I want to get like a fun one. I don't know. Loose highlighters are just best it's like the purest form of highlight also look at that color I have like a couple other illusions hang on hang on I know this is supposed to be the end of the video I'm goofing off and talking about other stuff okay hang on let me find it this one is like rose gold. I love rose gold. I bought it from somewhere in my eye. And then like I wanna do like 
So this one is like shimmer with micro glitters in it. I, wow. It's like right there beside it. It's kind of hard to see. It's closer to my skin tone because like, okay, my outer is very pink. They're, they're there. You can kind of see them. I don't know. They're trying. Yeah, there they are. That's the rose gold one. And that's the other one by Cody. That's the one I bought online, so I can't even remember what it was. I don't even know if it's a good brand, honestly. I just like bought loose highlighters because I thought it was fun. And then like I have another one from the same brand. Um this is like a true white highlight. I like white highlights. They're very pretty. Especially on her skin tones. Right now I got a bit of a I know it's winning it's winner. I have a bit of a tea. There's the rose gold, the other one. I think my favorite between the rose gold and the first one. But yeah, um I'm gonna post pictures <laughs> at the end of the video so you get a better look. And yeah, that's that. Uh